is a branch of depression in generators. So what are the positions that we need to uh, keep uh, taking the reading? What are the positions that we need to check with the tile gauge, with the crankshaft deflection gauge? How to position a crankshaft deflection gauge in place? What are the conditions that the generator should be uh, in should be complied when we need to take a uh, crankshaft deflection? All these things uh, I'll try to show it in the video. So first thing is uh, your generator should be in a cold condition. It should not be in a hot condition. So the temperature is high immediately after stopping the generator. You cannot uh, start uh, taking the crankshaft deflection. You have to let the engine dry and it should come normal cold condition. And there should not be uh, too much uh, rolling. The weather should be warm. And uh, it is. Uh, very advisable that uh, don't take uh, uh, crankshaft deflection during loading or because uh, you will try to, uh, the vessel tends to beat stress for those things. So we try to take the uh, deflection in a calm condition. So for taking the crankshaft deflection, we use a crankshaft measuring tool. So for uh, taking the crankshaft deflection gauge, we have to check the uh, deflection gauge actually uh, the deflection gauge we tie with rope the reason why we tie the gauge with rope is sometimes when we fix in the web uh, it tends to fall down so if it falls down you cannot uh, like you know put your hand down to remove take out the deflection gauge so if you have this kind of arrangement uh, even if it falls down it will be in our hand so that uh, you can easily pick up the deflection gauge. So this is the reason uh, why we tied this uh, rope with a uh, tied this uh, crankshaft deflection gauge with the rope. So okay, I'll show something uh, which you need to know before using this crankshaft deflection gauge. So uh, whenever you want to do the crankshaft uh, deflection gauge, uh, you want to use the crankshaft deflection gauge. You need to check whether the deflection gauge is okay or not. So how you know uh, this deflection gauge is okay? So you have to turn this. Uh, you can turn the dial and you have to set to zero. So you can see uh, you can turn, turn. You can turn like this. But I want to turn it to zero. So you can see uh, it is now in zero. So how to check whether this dial gauge is okay or not? So what we need to do is we just press the needle and leave it back it have to come back to zero so that means this dial gauge is working properly again i am telling you just press the needle leave it it have to come to zero so now this uh, crankshaft deflection gauge is working properly so next thing is how to take the reading eh? uh, reading the reading of this uh, deflection gauge is very simple Whenever you see a deflection gauge, any gauges, you can see the marking. Here you can see there is 0 0.01. It indicates each and every point means it is 0 0.01 mm. So, suppose, okay, I will try to give you one reading. So, now you can see two reading. One is the top, one is inside. So, top reading will be giving you in the range of 0 0.01 and once it completes one complete circle here it will come to one okay so i will show you how so you can see now i press slowly if it is like this the reading is 0 0.21 and here you can see it is still in zero so the reading is 0.21 mm only okay so next i will go for a full rotation huh? one full rotation zero you can see huh? here the needle comes to one and here the needle is in 0 0.02 so that means how to calculate this down is 1 mm 1.00 and in the upper reading it is 0 0.02 that is 1.02 m 
so this is how you have to uh, read the readings for deflection gauge so and another thing is this is called uh, mirror for uh, seeing the gauge glass i mean sorry seeing the reading eh? so suppose when the gauge glass say deflection gauge turns you can keep it like this eh? you can keep it like this and you can see the value you can see the value over here this glass this mirror can be extended and it can be turned at any angle it can be slide here top bottom anything eh? so these two are the important thing that we need to take for uh, taking the crankshaft deflection for generators so first thing is you have to check the dial gauge is working edge or not how to check press i have to come back to zero initially set to zero that is very important once set to zero then we check whether it is okay or not then it is okay we will go down so this is the report and this is the report and you can see yeah the here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 this indicates a five six units and this is the position x s t p y so we'll go and take the reading yeah okay so now uh, what is the procedure uh, to take the deflection gauge first we see what is what will be the position of uh, crank pin so that it will easy will be very easy to understand so uh, and i take the center line so this will be here so this is starboard this is port this is top and this is bottom so what we need to do is this is the position of crank pin huh? this is the position of crank pin so one then this will be two this is uh, bottom starboard this is bottom bottom four and four so total five reading 1 2 3 4 5 this is the position of crank pin so now i will show you what will be the position of your deflection gauge so same thing center line top bottom so starboard side fourth side bottom and top so here what we do is this will be top starboard starboard bottom starboard port uh, sorry a port and this is top port so 1 2 3 4 5 6 So these are all the five reading that we need to take. This is gauge position, a gauge position. So this will be the crank pin position, and this will be the gauge position. So now I will go to generator, and I will show you how to take crank shaft deflection. Okay. So before that, uh, you can see here, ah. Uh, this is the crankshaft deflection report huh? so in this report you can see the manufacturer manufacture what type of engine and how many running hours here you can see the draft forward and aft and last when it was taken total running hours what is the luboil temperature what is the cooling water temperature and when it was last done and these are all the five reading x s t p y five reading taken and uh, you can see this value also uh, this is all uh, calculation i will see you later okay now uh, we'll go down you can see here uh, this is the manual for uh, crankshaft deflection diehard so you can see here 
whatever I told earlier, you can see here. These are the position. So if someone, uh, if you want to know the degree here, uh, what will be the degree? It's, it is 30 degree before TDC and uh, 30 degree after TDC. That's all. Nothing, no much difference. So we go down. Okay, so now I'll show you first how to fit the crankshaft deflection gauge. Uh, this video has been uh, already uploaded separately. So again, uh, I it, if I do this again, it will be like a continuation. So it will be more easier also. So first, to fit the crankshaft deflection gauge. You have to specifically keep it properly. The base should properly sit on side of the counter weights. So some ships, some engines, there will be there will be a marking for fitting the um, crankshaft deflection gauge. But in generator, mostly you don't find. So now I fitted the deflection gauge. It should be exactly. It should be exactly placed in the center. So now we are going to take the reading now. So this is again I will try to make a drawing and uh, let you know. So it's uh, these are all the five reading that we are going to take. That first reading is A that is uh, 30 degree after BDC. So I will mark it as A, B, C, D, E. A is 30 degree after BDC and next will be stab outside reading and next will be TDC that is uh, top dead center and next will be port side and next will be 30 degree before BDC that's all so these are all the reading that we are going to take now so first reading now uh, once you fix the fix the dial gauge then you have to take the uh, take the crank pin before BDC 30 degree BDC and you have to set it to 0 so that is where you need to do the 0 setting so already the position is 30 degree after BDC and the value is 0, 0.00 mm next the reading will be you have to bring the crankshaft to B position that is So yeah, I'm just turning the engine. You can see the deflection gauge is also moving. Okay. So you can see yeah, how you can make out uh, either it is in proper port side or proper starboard side. If you stand outside now, you have to see both the web straight. So now we bring it to starboard side and the reading of uh, dial gauge is showing 0 0.01 mm I marked it and once that is done I have to bring the crankshaft to TDC again TDC also you can easily make it out with the position of the piston so this is where your mirror comes into picture because you cannot see the value reading of uh, dial gauge so you can use the extension mirror uh, to see the value of the deflection gauge now it is in now the piston unit is in TDC and you have to take the reading monitor okay you can see yeah? you can see the piston is totally in TDC and crank pin is facing towards the top so I can see the gauge glass uh, sorry a crankshaft deflection value from here itself so I write the value for that so it is uh, value is written and next thing I have to bring the crankshaft to port side so again uh, same way how we need to how we brought uh, to starboard side 
when you bring the when you turn the crankshaft deflection gauge you have to see the counter weight it should be straight that means if you see from starboard side it should be straight so that means uh, it is exactly in starboard side location so now i'm turning to bring the crankshaft to port side okay you can see here now counter weight is exactly straight that's all if it is straight this is what i am telling if it is straight then that means your position either port or starboard side will be correct okay you can see both the uh, both the uh, counter weights are straight so fourth reading is done so i mark the reading and next reading will be the final reading that is uh, 30 degree before bdc so i take a <coughs> i take the rot rotate the crankshaft to bring it before bdc 30 degree before bdc so i take it again i say to counter check the degree you have to check with the uh, flywheel marking now i use a mirror to find the reading okay i took the reading and that's all i had measured all five reading so this is how you have to measure the crankshaft deflection reading so in my next video i will show you how to calculate the crankshaft deflection so i believe this video must have given you some idea about how to take generator crankshaft deflection thank you all so after watching this video you must have got some idea about uh, how to measure crankshaft deflection in generators if you have any doubt please put in comment box definitely i will reply you uh, keep supporting our channel thanks for watching